Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Brent and in today's video, we're gonna go ahead and cover three free Minecraft server hosts for Cracked Minecraft. These three hosts are going to go ahead and allow you to have Cracked clients join your Minecraft server. So I get this question quite often here on the channel, which allow Cracked server hosting, how to also go through the process of allowing the cracked clients onto your platform. So with that said, if you are brand new to the channel, have not yet subscribed, go down below, hit the red button to subscribe, make it gray, hit the bell to be notified every time I release a brand new video. And of course, if this video is helpful, give it a thumbs up, make it blue, and let's go ahead and get into the video. So number one that we're gonna be starting off with is Eternos. This is one that a lot of players are familiar with. We just released a video here called Eternos, how to host a free online server and play with your friends. We went through a whole little quick video of how to set up on Eternos, how to get started and how to get logged in and all of that. So there is the website right there, Eternos.org. Now, when you arrive at the Eternos website, it'll look just like this. On the bottom right hand side, you're gonna go ahead and select the play option and then go ahead and create account for the Eternos platform. Now, once you've gone and selected whether you wanna go ahead and make a Java or a Bedrock version, you're gonna go ahead and go into your specific server settings. Now here, I've already sort of highlighted where you need to go next, but you can kind of see what is being offered from the Eternals platform. You know, they have all sorts of little links to their social media platforms and give you all sorts of little options here on the left-hand side, but we're gonna go ahead and select options. Now inside of your options, you're gonna go ahead and see your server properties anywhere from the number of players that you allow on your Minecraft server, the game mode, difficulty, whether you allow PVP. But the one here that you want to focus on is, do you allow cracked clients on your Minecraft server? So in this case, it's currently set to online mode true. So if you were to edit the settings inside of your Minecraft server, you would want to have offline or online mode set to false. So you can quickly do this by just the little X right here, and it's gonna go ahead and move it to on. Now you'll see on the left hand side that the online mode is false. So what this is basically setting is as you go through these different hosts and select online mode to false you're basically saying that you don't want players that are joining onto your minecraft server to authenticate with you know mojang and they're basically going to be able to play an offline mode so it's not going to be authenticating them or checking them to see if they are a correct client you know or a cracked client so that'll just be enabled right here and then you can go ahead and start up your server and have your friends begin to log on to the Eternals platform. So that is the first one there. Of course, I've covered up all the ads with my own ads. If you guys are interested in supporting the channel, I do have links down in the description below as far as signing up to get free stocks, signing up to get free crypto and other, you know, there's some other stuff down in the description below. So check them out if you guys are interested. And all three of these platforms will also be linked down in the description below with timestamps to each one of them as we're kind of covering them. Just quickly wanted to throw that out there. Now, the second free Minecraft server host that allows you to have cracked Minecraft clients on it is free MC server. So this is one that's pretty popular. They, have, they give you two options when you're setting up your server, one that runs 24 seven. It does have to be renewed every 48 hours. So two days, you just have to go in there and renew it. And then they have the one where you have to renew it every two hours, but you it get the increased RAM and some other, you know, miscellaneous stuff. So they're kind of interesting. I tried them out. Now here, if you go over to freemcserver.net, as we have right here, again, we links down in the description below, you're gonna go ahead and have the option to sign up and access your control panel. So once you've accessed your control panel, and I have my login right here, VBME Games, and I've created a test server for this example, for this video right here. 
and you go ahead and select on your server and inside of your server you're going to have different options from the console being able to upgrade it to a paid server tebex in order to start setting up some paid uh, you know some paid stuff on your minecraft server renew your server they have changed the platform since i've used it last so it's been quite a while but anyways you do have to select configuration right here now inside of your configuration you're gonna have to scroll down so i made a little arrow here to scroll down on the right hand side i mean there are other options here similar to eternus where you're able to adjust the survival mode you know the difficulty and all that but as you scroll down nearly towards the bottom you're going to have the option right here to see online mode. Now you're going to want to set this from true by default it's set up the true to false. And once you've done that, go ahead and save your config. You can see how many ads are up on these, you know, these free Minecraft server hosts. Just I had to cover all of them up. You know, I'm not getting paid by them to have their ads displayed during the video. So I kind of covered them up with some of what's provided down in the description below. So and then once you've saved that config, you go ahead and go back up into your server, start up your server, and again, have your friends connect to your Minecraft world. So that is the second option, freemcservers.net. So our number three option is Skynode. Now we recently released a whole video going over the whole signup process. You know everything that Skynodes offers so if you guys haven't checked out that video yet there will be a link up in the description above one of the little arrows there you can go ahead and click it to check out that video but we go through the whole process of signing up getting our free minecraft server opening and logging into the world and kind of go through that whole process so this is www.skynode.pro now once you're on their website you're going to go ahead and head up to the top make sure you sign in as a client once you've become a client with skynode you're going to want to go into your game panel now inside of your game panel on the left hand side you're going to have your server where initially you log on to your console you can see here here's our console it's our world's getting built now as your world is getting built you probably want to do this when it's shut down so start up your world once it is started up go ahead and stop it while it's still active go down into your configuration and select your configuration mode right there. Now on the right hand side, you can see here that it's very easy to see. It is the online mode. Once again, it is currently by default set to true. You wanna go ahead and set this to false. Once you've set the false, you scroll down, go ahead and save your server properties. So again, actually I kinda of missed a step here. So once you select configuration, then you want to go down into your server properties. So that's the only thing that I kind of skipped over right there. But once you've selected server properties inside of server properties, you'll find that option to deselect online mode and set that to false. So easy peasy. We can see that we changed it from true to false. We go down there and save it. And once that has been saved, we start up our Minecraft server and players again with the correct client are able to join our Minecraft world. So this one of the three, my Skynode offers what two gigs for free, a couple other settings. Again, that can all be found in our other video. And what was number two, the free MC, uh, free MC servers. This one would probably come in third under a Terranos actually. So I would definitely recommend probably Skynode as number one. And number two would be Eternos, with number three being freemcserver.net. But I'm sure that there's other free Minecraft server hostings out there that do allow crack clients to join. As we do find them, if I'm able to pair up another three, we'll go ahead and do a part two to this, covering a completely new set of free Minecraft server hosts that allow cracked clients to join them so that is basically it for this video let me know down in the comment section below if you have any other suggestions for other free minecraft server hosts that allow you to have cracked clients on them i think this is a question that gets asked quite often and again if you guys are wanting to support the channel there's links down in the description below to get up to what two thousand dollars in free stocks and up to 250 270 dollars of free crypto so if you guys are interested in either one of those i'm a you know stock market crypto investor myself so I definitely provide links for others and if you have any questions on that outside of minecraft let me know down in the comment section below 
and I always reply back to you guys. It's one of the cool things here. And that is it. Again, if you guys are brand new to the channel, have not yet subscribed, go down below, hit the red button to subscribe, make it gray, hit the bell to be notified every time I release a brand new video. And of course, give this video a thumbs up, make it blue if it helped or just you know, enjoyable video. And thank you all for watching. I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye. Wow.